Grüezi and welcome back to Satisfactory for the Christmas event, Fixmas. Um, now, unfortunately, the last recording got corrupted and I am left with nothing but an overwritten save of the point where I already had completed said recording. So all I can show you now is what I did. Um, so it's probably gonna be more of a short update video instead of a unlock and showcase video. So first of all, uh, in the, no, actually I have to start here, in the calendar. Well, it, I don't know why I ran here, it's just like, there were resources inside. I got from number three, um, some, maybe I still have it here, no, I don't have it, some snow. And in number four, I got the ornament. So let me see what I did with that. The ornament, of course, went into the mem. That's bright, my god. So in the mem, then, we did this unlock, right? After that, we had new options. Uh, the next one being here uh, requires also some ornament bundles that will come tomorrow in the next calendar entry. But we also got this one here, come on show, Snowman and Actual Snow. So S Actual Snow was in my uh, third day calendar entry and uh, with that we can build snowmen. Now um, from what I got all the, the, the gifts we get from the calendar apart from one from the 1st, 4th, 5th and 11th of December are gonna be random. So I got snow, others have gotten, um, the, what is it called, superposition oscillator, that is a late game, probably tier 8, 9 or 10 item that is not really released yet, but there are drop pods where you need them. So I got unlucky with the pale berries on my second day, or my second unlock, um, but yeah, the other one was this one here, so we now have access to the copper fixmas ornament and the iron fixmas ornament which i already unlocked i did a long um, hunt for more presents i constructed the buildings which can create the red and blue ornaments which as opposed to the constructor here is made in the smelter oops that was the wrong building so, uh, come on, let me place it. Uh, yeah, these are made in the smelter. For whatever reason, I don't know why that is the case. And the other thing it unlocked here was the Fixmas gift tree, which you can see in the right costs quite a lot of resources, um, spe specifically also of these new ornament types, copper and iron. But what it does is this one here. It actually spits out presents. So, as I was saying already in my corrupted recording, um, hunting for presents initially was a nice thing, but it got tedious. And the, the guys at Coffee Stain Studios, they knew people would feel, feel that way, and they created this. It is non-interactable, so I cannot overclock the Christmas tree, which makes sense, but you know, we can just build more, and we can build them anywhere, which is also quite nice to do. So currently, this one here is making more branches, which are required to build those, a hundred each. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, and actually I also have enough right now to build more. And here's my snowman, I will have to place it in a bit different place. As you can see, our tree is gone. That is because I used the resources to build this part here. So... Having the Christmas tree spit out presents allows for automation, and this is exactly what I'm doing here. So the first part here is making the candy canes directly out of the tree. The second part is making the Fixmas Pals also out of the tree. And the third part here, third and fourth, these are making the Fixmas ornaments, the red ornaments. And over here we will have the blue ornaments, so I can put up this tree now, I just need to remember which order I wanted to build things. So I guess, uh, oh that's the wrong tree, I need this one. Just need to align it well and then I can do that. And connect it up and now I also will be producing blue ornaments. 
So with that, I combine these outputs together into a uh, foundry where, guess it or not, these are made. The iron and copper uh, ornaments. I call them gold and silver because that's how they look like. But yeah, this is what we create. I also have some boxes afterwards to collect all my output. And we've already constructed 36 golden ornaments. And I had to grab myself some copper from over there. I also quickly had to ramp up a smelter for creating iron ingots because I don't use that anywhere else as of right now. I don't produce them in this area. Only in my starter area, way over there. And it didn't feel like bringing it over. And there's an iron node right up there, so why not use it? So let's just quickly reposition this snowman. Snows person, to be all the way correct. We can maybe put it up here to kind of greet you when we walk up the stairs. Like so. Isn't that nice? I also like specifically how they did the mouth with the detonators there. So, yeah, this is really about it. Um, that was about an hour of footage that got lost, so <laughs> really sorry for that. Um, but yeah, come back tomorrow where we will be doing the Fixmas 3 upgrade 2 in order to, you know, progress along the tree. And this means we will have two more items. I guess this one will be then 11th of uh, December. So that might mean that either these items are already also a bit dif more difficult to produce. Because, I mean, getting the number of ornaments was honestly not that easy. I had to go again for a present hunt. And it took me quite a while. So I guess we'll need to ramp up our production here. I will probably also overclock whatever is possible to overclock. Just so we get a lot more resources out. And yeah, then we'll not have much more to do there. I guess the very last one might actually release on Christmas, but we will see about that. And yeah, with this short update video, uh, this is it. Come back tomorrow for uh, more and uh, have a good time. Goodbye.